Hey guys, this is Jessica. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing a little bit different tutorial for you. I got a lot of requests for me to show you how to do how I do my front lace braid. So I'm going to be showing you how I do that today. Um, I am no hair or braid expert by far. I just find things that work for me. And as you can see, I do have short hair and I do have like pieces. So if you do have short hair and you really want to do braids, never fear you can so i got i found this braid tutorial from millaboo she does a lot of braiding and different hair tutorials for people with short hair i will link her video somewhere in this box and also in the description i will have her um youtube channel down below definitely check her out she has so many good tips and ideas and she makes it so easy for you to learn that's how i learned to master this uh, front lace braid. <laughs> Before you leave, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It's free, it doesn't cost you anything. And also don't forget to click that bell right next to it because then you will be notified of whenever I post new videos. So let's get to this tutorial. Um, always when you do a braid, it's better if your hair is a little bit dirty. And, um, and if your hair isn't dirty, you can always spray some dry shampoo in it to get a little bit of texture going. So I've already straightened my hair. For me, it's easier if I straighten my hair because my hair is really, really crazy. What you will need is you will need a brush. You will need two elastic bands and you will need some bobby pins. I take all the hair from my ear and this is the part that I'm going to be braiding. So now we have all this hair back here. We have all of this front right here so I'm gonna start with um, my good side which is the easiest side for me to braid so okay so we have it sectioned so a front lace braid is when you're braiding your hair and you only are taking pieces from um, from the area closest to your forehead um, that way it gets the hair out of your eyes. So I just take my finger, get a section, and I go all the way back to um, that entire section. So then I'm just going to split it into three sections. And we're gonna start braiding so I'm gonna take the section closest to my head this first section and I'm gonna go under the second section and then this last section closest to the back I'm gonna go under that middle section again and I'm just gonna do this a couple times just to get that braid started so the first section we go under the second and then the last section closest to the back we go under the second and like that so when you're start ready to start pulling hair this first section closest to our forehead we're going to just grab a little bit of hair that is right by the front section and we're just going to do the same thing just do your normal thing now we have our new section our new front section right here so we're just gonna grab a little bit more of that front hair and that's really all you're doing and each time you just grab a little bit of hair only putting it in this front section and eventually you will grab all the hair and 
and you can take as much hair or as little hair as you like. Because you see we're starting to get close. So we're starting to get to our ear right here. So I like to be mindful and remember to just remember I go over the ear. And then see, this is all the hair I have left now. So I'm just going to add it to that front one. And we're just going to continue to braid the hair until we don't have any more hair to braid. Then we're just gonna take our rubber band and tie off our braid. And there is our first front lace braid. <laughs> now we're just going to do the same thing on the other side. long stockings you know <laughs> I'm just going to take this braid and I'm gonna make sure that it goes over my ear and I'm just going to pin this to my hair back here so now that we have our braid pinned back we're going to take out um, our hair back here that we had in a ponytail <clears throat> And you can just put it over that braid. So then what I like to do since my hair has been up so it has a little bit of that crinkle wave in it, I just like to take my flat iron and just kind of go through the ends. Of course, always remember when flat ironing your hair to use a heat, oh. always remember to use a heat protectant. Um, especially if you have color hair like mine because if you don't it's going to fade that color so much more fast. And just kind of remember where you put your metal pins because you don't want to, you know, flat iron a metal pin. I really like this style because it keeps the hair out of your eyes but you can still wear your hair down and it's a very soft romantic look. This would be great for Valentine's Day or a date out or whatever.